Hey guys, I just wanted to show you really quick uh, how I create the weaving effect that I did on the cover of Modena. Uh, a bunch of you are asking and I am so excited to show you. So um, it's all Photoshop layer masks. So what I've done is I have my two uh, text layers ready to go and my reference. I'm actually going to switch the colors real quick to match just so it's all consistent there. Oops. Cool. Okay. So basically, you see how the script is just kind of weaving in and out of the um, sans serif. That's all done by creating a layer mask on that script. So what I'm going to do is highlight my script layer, which is Italy, and I'm going to go down here to the bottom and click Add Layer Mask. So basically what a layer mask does is any, um, it, it kind of like erases any where you draw on it in black without actually erasing anything. So this is really great if you're, even for photo editing, uh, I love it for design, but it just is a kind of a fail safe so that if you accidentally erase something that you didn't mean to, you can always uh, either go over it in white and undo it, or you can just disable your layer mask and get back what you lost. So I love layer masks. They are one of my favorite parts of Photoshop. Um, Cool, so we're gonna start there. With our layer mask highlighted, I'm gonna go uh, take my mouse down to the Modena layer. I'm gonna hold Command and then click on the T. And what that's gonna do is highlight uh, everything that's in that layer. So making sure that this layer mask is still selected, I'm gonna use my brush, which is over here, my brush tool. Switch my color to black because black makes it disappear, white makes it reappear. And I'm going to recreate this look by erasing where I want it to go like underneath. So I want this stroke to go underneath the D. So I'm gonna erase that D. And then it kind of appears to come back out on the other side. We wanna be able to see our A, so we'll leave that. Um, I'm going to do this little bit here and then this last bit here. And then when you go to deselect, um, select, deselect or command D, you've got that interweaving effect. There is a little bit of a, it looks like a little mess up there. You can play with that in your layer masks or what I would do is click this link to unlink your layer mask from your text and then highlight the text and just scoot it over. That way it doesn't mess with any of your masking and now you can go back into the mask and since this is just like it's gone, it's not showing, I want to use white to make it reappear. Um, I'm just, oops, white. <laughs> just going to make it reappear like that. And that's how you use layer masks to make your text interweave. Um, it definitely takes some practice and maybe a little bit of foresight too to know where you want your text to kind of weave in and out, but it's a lot of fun to play with. And it's really not that hard. So go ahead and play around and I'm excited to see what you guys make. 